What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Rock from Flip the Thrift, and you won't believe what's going to be at this auction today. Alrighty then, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Rock from Flip the Thrift. If you don't know who I am, I am a reseller. I live out in Pennsylvania, out in the old woods, in the sticks, in the middle of nowhere where the buses don't stop. And we are going to an auction today. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If this is what you like, if this is the type of content that you are into, I don't know what you're into, but I'm into some weird shit too. But we're not going to get into that. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to an auction today. Please smash the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. We're going to go to an auction today. It's loaded with SpongeBob stuff. The lady was a SpongeBob collector. Um, she collected Raggedy Ann and Andy. She collected dolls and doll houses. Um, all kinds of shit. So we are going to go. I'm not going to record with a GoPro. I'm not going to do that. I think that because um, it's like... People might be a little weird about it, so I'm just not going to do it. But I am going to try to record little bits and pieces of me inside. <clears throat> this is where I keep my stuff, where I store all my inventory, um, all my eBay inventory, where I ship and work from. So <clears throat> the guy has a big building, and he rents out, you know, certain plates, parts. There's even a church in this building, guys. Um, so... We're going to hit this auction up. I got to go pull cash because I don't know if it's cash or card. I want to make sure that I'm prepared. I'm not willing to go very high, but um, there's a Nintendo um, there's a Nintendo Game Boy, and it is a SpongeBob version. Boom. There's one for $700 used with the manual. I don't remember if it was the box included as well, but... We're going to this sale, and we're going to at least try. I mean, hey, where there's a will, there's a way. You have to at least try. So I don't know what the competition is going to be like. I don't know if people... Um, the lady that um, runs the building told me that there shouldn't be competition like that on these types of items. So hopefully um, everyone will be in the dark. There's also Nintendo Game Boy games that are still sealed. All of it is SpongeBob. People probably don't think um, that that stuff is valuable. But believe it or not, I could probably get 600 for that one that is new. So I'm not willing to go over 200 bidding on it because I don't want to lose money. But anyway, my arm's getting tired. We're going to get in the car. We're going to go pull some cash, and we're going to go. All right, guys, so we are here. I'm going to show you the items I'm talking about. There's about maybe some of the doll stuff over there, but I'm going to show you. All right, guys. So let me show you what we got. We're gonna get, we're gonna bid on these. Those are good. We got the Desert Storm card. That's a, probably a hard no. A lot of Wizard of Oz, and then look at the Christmas story. Those are cool. But then check this out. Bam! Look at that. Not at all that SpongeBob stuff, guys. Check it out. Yeah. Crazy, huh? Told you guys that shit is crazy. I'm gonna try. It sucks because I don't have any service in here, so I can't look anything up. So we're flying blind, guys. Five dollar, five dollar, three, three and four. At four dollar, four dollar, four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. At ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar, ten anywhere, ten. I'm physically shaking right now. One DS player. Fifty dollars. All right, guys. So, mm, man, the bill. The bill was pretty high. The bill was seven hundred and five dollars. The DS by itself is worth that. So. Um, as long as it's not an empty box, but when I looked at it, it still had the plastic on it. It was still sealed. Um, I don't think that this person was a gamer. All the CD players, everything that I got, wait till you see this haul, guys. Um, people weren't really bidding on the doll stuff. I got all the pogs. The only thing I didn't get was the Christmas story stuff. 
that's what I wanted. The boxes that they were in weren't in the greatest condition, so it's not like I didn't really miss out. Everything else is going to be pure profit because as soon as I move that DS, that's going to be my 700 right there. There's a used one online right now for over 600. All right, guys, you're not going to believe this. Um, I did spend $705. It got out of hand because they just kept bringing things out. And a lot of things were cheap, but they added up. Like, I have to count the tickets. I have. They give you all the tickets and your receipt after you pay. Here's all the receipts or all the tickets. That's how many items that I won. Like, not, not even items trays and items so wow but you're 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 not you're not even gonna believe this guys it's a Toys R Us exclusive and the box the box is like mint look brand new brand new sealed that is a factory brand new factory seal oh my god People are listing these for like 150 use just for the system. This in the box. Oh my god. And look. You got the two games in one. Someone's probably gonna buy all of them. And you got the Game Boy Advance videos. Three of them, brand new sealed. This is the box right here. But also, we have the TV brand new in there. I gotta get this stuff unloaded. Wow. All right, guys. I couldn't. I wish I could have recorded more. Like I got a, a lot of other stuff, like a lot of doll stuff, little ins and outs, like things like this that I spent three dollars on. But some of the bigger stuff I had to spend up on. Like the TV, I think was like between forty and sixty. But it's in the box. It's taped all over the place, so I don't know if it was taped like that. So what I'm probably going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to cut it open, look in it, and make sure that this thing is not discolored, that there's nothing wrong with it, that it's in, like, perfect condition. And I'm guessing I'll probably have to put that in another box to ship it. Um, or I may be able to... I don't want to ship it in this box. I don't know. Um, then there's the SpongeBob radios down here. The two boom boxes. I got the blue one and the yellow one. We got another one. It's a karaoke system. Um, I got a bunch of Uncle Wigglies. I know they do well. That's why I grab them. There's one, two, three, four, five. I have six of them. Well, I, that's a five. But I have these brand new. Um, Beauty and the Beast and Pinocchio. Um, there's a bunch of like random stuff also. There's a SpongeBob handheld calculator. Like there's random things. Um, there's the brand, a brand new video now, SpongeBob. There's another radio. This one is... All right, so here's the DVD player. That's what is going to go with... See, she. there was another lady there that picked up another one of these. And I didn't want both of them. I only wanted one. Um, this can go with the TV, actually. Um, I could probably bundle that together and someone will buy both of them. And probably for a lot. Probably for about $500. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, there's two items that are going to definitely get me my money back. Maybe... Maybe just the Nintendo. Maybe just the um, Nintendo Game Boy. It's a, it is, it's a Game Boy Advance SP. So it plays, it plays the little games, the little games like that. So it's like, it's really popular. Man, I don't know if I should put this on auction. Then I gotta wait a week. I think that I'm gonna list this really high and I'm gonna see what happens because somebody may wanna purchase this just to grade it and it may be worth a lot more graded. That, when you grade your items, it almost doubles the profit, like triples. Like if you have a card, say you have a LeBron James card that's worth, I don't know what his rookie card's worth, say it's worth 300, but if you got it graded and it was graded really high, like look at the corners on this box, like. The box is in like basically perfect condition. There's someone could buy that and grade it and it would be worth a ton. Like then we have this one. We have the Pac-Man plug and play. We got another another CD player. And you have this one. This one's really cool. I've never seen that one before. Like anyone that loves SpongeBob is gonna lose their minds. The only thing I'm really worried about is this thing here. 
I'm only really worried about this one because this one has batteries in it. And that means that the battery's been in it for the year on this is 2003. Yeah, the, it, the battery's been in this for 21 years. So I don't know if someone's just going to want to buy that. Just maybe I should just leave it the way it is and just put that in a disclosure. Like say, look, there's batteries in this thing and they might be corroded. And, you know, you're just going to have to just deal with it. Maybe they just want to display it like that in the box. We got SpongeBob sunglasses with the case. Um, we have all of the figures, all of the SpongeBob figures, like the smaller ones, like there's Patrick, um, there's Mr. Krabs. Like I know all the characters because my kids used to watch this when they were little. There's like a little SpongeBob, like everything. It's ridiculous. Look at, there's a skateboard, there's a stoplight. But I really have to start working on this now. Um, I'm going to get the, the Game Boy up. People are going to lose their freaking minds. This stuff, I guess, can wait. I'm going to leave the cart in here. Like, I'm just going to... Um, nobody's going to miss the cart. So, I'm just going to leave it in here. This is all doll stuff. Um, there's Raggedy Ann and Andy. There's just... There's just a ridiculous... A ridiculous amount of stuff right here. Like, it's just insane. And I was trying to focus on picking up the lot... The box lots of the... Then we have CD players. We have different colors. I have, there's four of them. There's four different ones. Two of them are the same. They sell for like $50 or more. Um, this is 100 right here. The King Moon Racer. We also have him loose. Like she loved lions. She loved SpongeBob. She loved lions. Raggedy Ann and Andy. Like there's a lot of things that she really liked. We got a whole box of Pogs. Um, I don't know how well they're going to do. I should be running auctions on a lot of this stuff, but we'll see. All right, guys, so what an amazing freaking day. Um, this ain't worth that much. There's a lot of other things. I just got up with um, the guy in here and bought a couple cameras. Have you ever seen a brown one? I've never seen a brown Polaroid before. Uh, it looks like the strap. Probably going to need to be tied in a knot, but I did get another one from him. So we have... Another Polaroid. They they sell like hotcakes, guys. They sell so fast, which is why I'm willing to pay up for them. I paid ten a piece for them. I don't think he was very happy about that. Um, I don't want to spend too much on them, or I'll be digging into my profit. Because if they're only thirty dollar cameras, then I can't spend more than ten dollars, or I won't make any money. So here's the Game Boy stuff. It's already listed. Um, I already got an eighteen hundred dollar. Or I got the most I got was I think was it over a thousand. I can't, I forget, I don't remember. I probably should have took the thousand and ran with it. Um, um, but I'm pretty confident that I'm not running a sale. It's going to go on sale because when you run sales and you add items, as long as you don't uncheck those boxes as you're um, completing, as you're creating your sale, your, your um, what's it called? Your sale promotion sale or whatever it's called. Um, anyway, but as long as you don't check them boxes, Every item that you list after that um, will not will go on sale. Um, but I have to leave the boxes checked, so everything goes on sale as soon as I list it. It, you, it can take up to 24 hours for your item to go on sale. So mine usually take anywhere from like six to 12 hours, something like that. But we have we have the karaoke machine listed. That's about a hundred dollars. Um, we're already going to make our money back just off of the Game Boy, just off of the. Um, the Game Boy SP Advance or whatever. We got the Lava. There's one of them listed for 100 but I don't think that it's worth that much. Some of these CD players I can't find. Like, I don't see the blue one. I think there's a blue one that sold for... There was. There's a there's a blue one that sold for $50, and that was used. So we're looking at $100 probably a piece on these. Um, they, it was just... It was worth it. it. It was worth it for me to almost spend what I... Some of them I only spent um, 5 or $10 on, but then some of them I up... I spent up, and uh, like I said, um, if you listen to Tekken Sports, I just been I just started watching him. I actually w only listened to him in his. Um, I don't know if he does if he does the things with what's his name, <sighs> something 10K by the Bay or whatever his name is. Um, I can't remember, but um, I used to watch him a lot. He got booted off of eBay for selling like thousands of pairs of Nikes. Um, but anyway, that's another story. I don't get into things like that. I don't judge people. I don't, I don't, I, I don't care. You know, I only worry about my business. I'm not really worried about anybody else's. But, um, anyway, I was listening to Tekken Sports and he was telling me that as long as you're, 
Um, as long as what he does is he adds all his items up. So if you pay twenty dollars for an item and a dollar for five more items, then you pay twenty-five dollars for six items. Then you do the math with those items, and that will tell you how much you spent on each item. You just divide, and um, that's kind of like what I do. I'm looking at it like this, guys. We have. I just photographed all of them. Some of them are listed. The um the games are definitely I listed the games right away because I knew I already have five watchers and like 30 views on this bad boy, this bad mama jamma right here. And what I did with this was I listed it with the SpongeBob game because I think the game is worth like $30 or something sealed. But um people may there's somebody that tried to get in touch with me off of eBay. He was trying to get me to go off the site. And don't do that, guys, because you will get your account banned. So what I wanted to say was, after all of that, we still have the TV. We still have the CD player. We still got this cute little, cool little lamp, little Lone Ranger, whoever the hell that is, Mr. Texan. I don't know. But um, we have all the doll stuff. We have, um, we have a bunch of, a couple Christmas things like these lions and things like that. We have all of these Uncle Wiggles, which are $20 a board game, if not more. Um, we have a bunch of SpongeBob VHS sealed. Like I said, we have the Pinocchio. We have the glasses. <coughs> That's what it's called, the Island of the Misfit Toys. I have the small figure there, and then there's two figures. Some of this stuff was like, like these little pots and pan things. I wasn't really trying to get them, but check these lions out. These are carved out of wood. Like, they're probably $20 pieces right there. Um, the Desert Storm set, there was another set that I wanted. There was um, sealed cards that I wanted, but let me get my selfie stick, guys. Sorry. Um, this video is not going to be that long because I'm going to end it, and I'm just going to keep you guys updated, and I want you guys to tell me what you think of the video. Hold on, guys. I'm just, like, super, I'm super stoked, man. I'm super stoked. But, um, yeah, I'm super, I'm just really happy, guys. Really happy. It doesn't happen all the time that you make scores like this. Like, they don't happen like this all the time. This is something that is just, you know what I mean, guys? It's, it's like a once in a while. It's a once in a while type of thing. That's much better. It's so much easier on my arm. I'm a, I'm a wuss. What can I say? But, um, yeah, we have the Raggedy Ann and Andy things. Like, these are really cool. Who are these made by? I guarantee they're made in USA. I don't even know. It doesn't matter, but it's the whole set. It's like, at first I thought that was a mirror. It has a little board in the back. I think you're supposed, it was either a mirror or you could just put a picture in it if you want. Or you could probably put your own, put your own mirror in it. Then we have, we have the Rudolph. We got the Rudolph. We got the Rudolph lion. I think that this is $50 right here. Look at all the lions. Like she was just, crazy lion collector there's more spongebob stuff she ended up with the spongebob plug and play i wanted it but i didn't want to spend more than 20 on it probably should have it would probably would have been more beneficial but now that i see exactly what i'm gonna get for that nintendo it's like i could have spent up and it would have been i could have spent 300 more dollars and it would have been fine like we still would we still would have been all right but um what is this this is the SpongeBob and Nesco. Um, we have, there are some, I think there's like little SpongeBob Easter things. Like, I know we can sell these, but the candy's old. So how, how is that going to work? Like, I don't know. We got some Fairly Odd Parents. Some of the stuff is kind of, it's not in the best condition. What's under here? There's all the other VHSs. There's a bunch of them, bunch of those. Um, so we got... We have these two. We have SpongeBob, Five Tales of Tides. We have Deep Sea Silly. So these are actually, these are both the same. But then we have Aquatic Adventures. We have what? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight, eight brand new sealed VHSs. So that's like, yeah. Awesome, guys. Really awesome. Check out the traffic light. We're going to go ahead and list that next. All of these items are new. The skateboard is new. That is new. The TV's new. Like, that's the reason why I'm so excited because it's so much easier to sell items that are new. Like, I don't have to test none of those radios. They're all going to work. They should be They should be fine. Um, they may have been sitting for 20 years, but 
I don't know. I just don't think that, that there's going to be anything wrong with them. Like, maybe they might have belt issues. I don't know. Maybe the belts on this on this on the tape players might be, but I think they're all they're all CD players, so there shouldn't be any issues, guys. They're just this is the only thing that I was worried about because it has batteries in it. So I might just have to leave that in there and just be like, look. Dude, I'm not breaking the seal on it. You can find out if the batteries are no good. I can just put that in the title. The batteries may be no good. This could just be for collectible use only because it might not work because of that reason. Now, if there's a way, there might be a way where I can open the back of the box and get to the battery compartment. If there's a way to do that without unsealing the box, I'm going to do that because then it's going to be way more valuable. It's going to work. Um... There is, there's another one of these. This is the Rudolph one that I showed you. There's two of them. There's another one like that. Now he has, he has the little elephant with him. I don't know if the elephant is in here. So anyway, guys, that's all she wrote. Totally awesome. If it sells before I make this video, before I can finish editing it, I will put it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the thumbs up button and hit that notification bell. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.